Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. In today's tutorial, we'll be using the fire axe that we created in the previous two tutorials and we'll be attaching it to a character's skeletal mesh. So you'll see, this is the standard Unreal third-person blueprint. And you'll see that there, the axe has been attached to the character. So if I hit play, you'll see that it moves with the animation. If I jump, the axe goes up. So essentially, it has become part of this character itself. So in order to do that, what you would need to do is click on your character, right click and find in the content browser, double click its profile there, and then click viewport. And we'll see there is my axe, but I'm going to delete this one because I want to show you the process from the start. So let's just click save and compile. So what we're going to do is first we need to find a mesh that we want to attach to this character. So go over here to meshes custom. This is the folder that I created. So you will see there is my fire axe and I'll just highlight it. You can full screen this again and then you'll click add component. You'll see there it's a static mesh and the X tutorial. And we'll leave it the name as is. And then you'll see all these options here. Now, here under socket, you'll see parent socket. Now, if you click that, you won't see anything yet. The reason for that is, is we need to set the parent for this static mesh as the mesh, this one here. So the way to do is you'll just click on your X and you'll just drag it up to the mesh on top there. If you go back to your axe and you click on parent socket, you'll see that all these ones opened up. So what we'll do is we'll select the right, let's do the right thumb, I think. It's better to do the hand specifically. So let's do hand right. And then you'll see the mesh is now in a weird position then we just have to move it closer. So I changed my grid spacing here to one just to get some better movement in and then I'll just switch off real time and then I can move the mesh to the location where I want it to be. And if you hit spacebar, you get the rotation option. I'm not going to do this perfectly, but that actually looks good enough. So I'll just click compile, I'll save and we'll just double click there, drag this off and then essentially you'll see that's what we just did. Okay, well this kind of going through his head at the current moment, which is why I emphasize that this is more for a character that's got a predefined animation using the axe already or if you want to add something else like a pipe or something. So this can work for for your basic character if you want to put it in and you just want to get an idea of what it will look like then you can just attach it to any one of the sockets you can go into your character's skeletal mesh which is over here and you can create a new socket for weapons specifically so that there will be a weapon socket and the weapon will play its own animations or will be directly linked to the socket so we can use that and add a socket and move that socket around and essentially when you add that socket and you save it you go back into your mesh here you'll see that it should appear as far as I can see there we go ring socket over there if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, you can leave a like, you can leave a dislike, uh, but uh, I would like to put out more videos like this, so if it did help you, please support my channel, and I will see all of you in the next video. Thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.